Well, hello, hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shy Vivia, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by and hitting that play button. The universe just has a way of putting us in the right place at the right time. With that said, don't forget to hit that subscription button and the notification bell as well. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. And without any further ado, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the printer that I use as a notary signing agent. Now, a few of you, based on the last video that I've done, you've asked me exactly what printer do I use and all of that. So I decided to do a video sharing with you guys the exact printer that I use, why I use this printer, and why it is uh, really important to use this type of printer in your notary loan signing business. I'm also going to do a comparison with whether you get a laser printer or an inkjet printer because I'm sure you probably have been asking yourself you know what type of printer do I use and does it really matter I'm also gonna be going over if you use a single tray or a dual tray you know which one is better to use and why so if you're looking to get your notary signing agent business started and all of that and you're trying to figure out the exact printer the right printer for you keep watching <music> Now, as a loan signing agent, you have to remember and you have to think about the type of documents that you'll be printing out. Will you be printing out letter size documents? Will you be printing out legal size documents? Will you be doing both, you know, per document? You have to think about that. Now, with that, having a uh, dual tray printer is very, very important as a notary signing agent and some companies they would require or prefer that you have a dual tray printer now the reason for this is because a lot of times uh, documents they have both letter and legal size paper in that particular document now think about this if you only have a single tray printer what's going to happen is you're going to have to always take out the letter size paper and replace it with the legal size and vice versa and you're gonna have to you know keep doing that and what can happen with that is that the paper the order of the paper can get mixed up and you want to ensure that you're sending back these documents in the correct order the order that you you receive these documents so it is time consuming when you do have a single tray printer and you have to you know replace it and do all of that so that's why companies will rather you have a dual tray printer now i know that sometimes you know times are hard and all of that and you may only be able to afford a single tray printer at the moment and that's fine you just have to prepare yourself to spend a little bit more time with you know printing documents and all of that versus a dual tray printer a dual pr tray printer allows you to simultaneously print legal and letter size paper it's saving you time i'm the type of person that listen if it can save me time i will spend a few more dimes okay if that makes sense so the that's the benefit of having a dual tray printer now the exact um dual tray printer that i use is the brother hl l6200 dw i'll put it right here the reason why i chose this printer um for one that printer when i bought it uh the price is usually a little bit more but somehow the price dropped when uh, it was time for me to buy it and i just hurried up and snatched it because i was trying to find a printer within a budget within a uh, you know a decent budget and um, it was really really hard i have to say to find a dual tray printer that i was looking for that will do the job uh, for that price but fortunately i was able to find it i will try to link it below as well and the reason why i love this printer also is that uh it has wi-fi it has built-in wi-fi so you can actually print from your phone okay one two three easy you can print from your phone and not only is this beneficial in your notary uh signing business but just for personal reasons just to be able to you know print documents straight from your phone you just hook hook it up to the wi-fi 
hook the printer up to the Wi-Fi, um, connect your phone to that printer, and you just hit print and voila, you go from mobile to paper. I absolutely love this feature um, of this printer. Um, another thing is if you only have a single tray printer right now and you're not able to invest in a dual tray printer, um, it is going to take a little bit more time. But what you can do um, to start out is that you can go to pageseparator.com. I know a lot of notaries um, use this and have talked about it. Um, I'll also link it in the description below. I personally have never used it because I have the dual tray printer, so I've never had to use page separator. Um, and the thing about it is it's it's not free as well so you have to pay for it it's kind of like a software that it automatically detects the uh letter size and it you know tells you what size the paper is and all of that good stuff now with a single tray printer you still have to change out the paper so that kind of is you know time consuming you still have to change it out but if you know it is what it is if that's what you are able to do at the time when you're starting out then that's fine you can go to page separator however i believe that there is a free way to do it and you know everybody loves free right i know i do um there is a free way to figure out you know what letter size this is because the thing about it is sometimes companies will send you when they send you documents it all depends on how they send it to you it may show you the breakdown of, um, you know, if this is letter size or legal size, okay? And that's cool because you're able to just, you know, change it out based on what letter size you're printing on. However, sometimes they'll just send you documents and you have absolutely no idea which document is letter and, and which one is illegal. Now, this is where you have to figure it out on your own, and that's where the paid separator comes in that you have to pay for. However, there is a free way to do this. You can go to um, download Adobe Reader, the free version, and um, when you pull up the document in Adobe Reader, it tells you what letter size each of those documents are. Okay, it will tell you what paper size um, those documents are and then you can just print accordingly. Yes, you're gonna have to take the extra time to change the paper out and all of that, but uh, that's a free way to do it, you know. I will say though that don't get, uh, you know, don't highly depend on this and just go out there and get yourself a single trip printer because at the end of the day, if you're trying to do this business and be efficient, a single tray printer is not as efficient. It won't allow you to be as efficient. And it, the, the most important thing is also is that it can cause like confusion. You may have um, accidentally print um, a document that's supposed to be printed on legal size, on letter size, and you don't want that to happen. Also, with having to change out the paper and all of that, you may end up not having the, the document in the correct order. And you want to make sure that when you're sending the documents back to the, the company, that it is sent back in the order that they want it to be sent. So, you have to think about these things. So, I strongly recommend a dual tray printer a two tray printer um if you do if you are able to only get a single tray printer at the time you know get a printer that um you can possibly just when you're able to you can just buy the the, the second tray because that's all that it is to it when i bought my printer it was literally the printer and then it was another <laughs> tray that's you know connected to it so you can do that as well okay now that we have that out of the way let's talk about whether you should have a an inkjet printer or a laser printer now this is very important this may sound trivial and all of that but it is very important you will find also that companies will ask whether you have whether or not you have a laser printer now the reason why this is important is because uh for one with inkjet printers the ink can mess up like the documents and they don't want that to happen they don't want the documents smudging at all or anything like that so they for legal documents and all of that they do not they absolutely do not want it printed on um, from an inkjet jet printer you want a laser printer 
now this is very important um the printer that i have the brother um hl l6200 dw it is a dual tray laser um printer now the laser printers they are a little bit more expensive than the inkjet printer the inkjet single tray um i keep saying inkjet but the inkjet single tray printer um you can find it on the low end like you can find it for uh as low as like a hundred and something dollars you know and i was tempted honestly when i started i was honestly so tempted to buy the printer that was like 400 and something dollars i'm like i don't want to put out that much money but what i realized is and what you have to realize and think about you have to think optimistically okay you have to think positively you have to think okay i'm go coming into this business to make money now when you think about how much a notary loan signing agent makes per signing when you really think about it and calculating it you'll be making that money back in only a few signings okay so if you spend a few hundred dollars you know on the printer fine it's not like you're coming into this business not to make money you're coming into the business to make money so spending a few hundred dollars as an investment i honestly believe is no big deal um because you'll find that you do three four five signings and you've already made your money back so I believe that it is worthwhile investing in um, the printer that will make you efficient in your business and you know will save you time will save you energy and will <laughs> save you from making errors and all of that so there you have it as a notary signing agent you definitely want to ensure that you have a laser uh, printer as well as a dual tray printer because this is going to um, help you to be efficient in your business now hey listen i know that times are hard and everything like that um but listen if this means that you may not be able to do your nails for a couple of weeks or not eating out for a couple of weeks. You just have to do what you have to do. It's your business, it's your investment. Uh, you're gonna make that money back in just a few signings. So I definitely say just go right ahead and invest in the proper printer uh, from the get-go. Again, if you already have a single tray printer, I already went over the ways that you can kind of like maneuver this until you're able to invest in the dual tray printer. Now, I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I will definitely um, reach out and respond to your comments. Uh, in my next video, I'll be doing a snap docs tutorial on how to get your profile set up and all of that. Believe it or not, SnapDocs is a great way for a loan signing agent to get assignments. For me, it has been uh, thus far. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial uh, since you guys have asked for it on how to get all set up on that. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscription bell as well. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. And again, it's your girl Shy Bivia. It was an absolute pleasure. Let's go get those loan signings together and I'll see you guys later. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you.